run with gas and grab your favorite hop. Go head up to the track to take your place for some speedway fun when Pud Pud enters the race. Pud Pud enters the race. Okay, Pep, okay. Ready, Pep? Catch! Special delivery, Pep, Pep! Wowie, showie! Oh boy, it's from Redline Rick. It says I'm invited to join the Car Town 500. Hot niggity! Well, I hate to run, uh, but I got more mail to um deliver. I'll be talking to you later, Pep, Pep. Hey, Pep, come on, pal. Head over to the speedway. 68, 68, 68 funny cars. Coming soon to the Car Town Speedway, it's 68 funny cars. Featuring Red Rider Rickshaw and Mean Clyde Green. They'll make you laugh, they'll make you giggle, because they're really funny cars. Oh, 68 of them. <laughs> That's my gas gauge. guy too much. Well, I guess I can keep on driving. Cartown Speedway, here I come. Hi, Redline Rick. Well, if it isn't my little buddy Putt Putt. Are you here to sign on up for the big Cartown 500 race? You bet, Redline Rick. Pep and I have been waiting all year. Well, Whoa. Putt Putt. If you want to be a race car, you have to be able to grip the road, race like the Dickens, and always keep safety first. So you might have to get some things. 
I know! I can get whatever I need in Car Town! Well, here's a list of all the things you'll need to get. You'll need high-powered, high-octane gasoline, super speed radio racing tires, a safety helmet from half, and a triangular flag with the number six on it. That's your official number! Thanks, Redline Rick! I can't wait! I'd better get busy! I have a lot of gear to get before the big race. It's the racing form I got from Redline Rick. I still need to find some extra high-powered, high-octane gasoline, some super-speedy radial racing tires, a safety helmet for Pep, and a triangular flag with the number six on it, and then I'll be ready to enter the race. Go, pop, pop, go, pop, pop, racing up and down the speedway. Well, pop, pop's gonna race, and that's a sure bet. He's a groovy little car with a dog named Pep. When he revs up his engine round the speedway, you'll know all the other cars shout, "Go, pop, pop, go!" Go, pop, pop, go, pop, pop, racing up and down the speedway. When I give the green flag, it's a signal to go With Pep's new helmet, he'll be safe, you know To get the power you need, I can feel he's a must Racing with the cars, kicking up all that dust Go, Papa, go, Papa, racing up and down the speedway See Pep's flag a flapping with his number on the side He's the coolest little car on a crazy wild ride The car time 500's the best race to run And a good win it, so let's go have some fun, let's go! Speedway to the finish line He's zooming with the cars Having a grand old time He's got the extra speed To take the curve so fast The car town 500 short is a blast Go Papa, go Papa Racing up and down the speedway Go Papa, go Papa Racing up and down the speedway Go Papa! working the speedway is I just love the smell of asphalt in the morning. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, there's nothing like cruising the black dot here at the speedway. Makes my heart and motor race. I can't wait to try it. Neato! 
Whoa, this looks like great fun. out all the new toys in the stock room. I want to make sure they work just right. Have fun. Oh, I always do. Check this thing out. <laughs> what is it? Good question. But whatever it is, then it'll sell like hotcakes. I wouldn't mind having one for my birthday. Job. Go ahead and slip three coins in that slot, partner. I don't have any coins. I better figure out a way to earn some so I can get a paint job. It says Car Town Color, three cents. Oh, Nelly Rough Rider. You need to slip three coins in the slot before you can drive through Car Town Color. Well, if it isn't Putt-Putt, what can I do for you today? I just stopped by to say hi, Smokey. It's always nice to have you visit. Thanks, Chief. Hey, an empty bottle. I've been meaning to get that recycled. Say, Putt-Putt, if you wouldn't mind, could you take it to be recycled for me? Yes, sir, Smokey. I'd be happy to. Thanks, little fella. That's a big help. Good morning, a putt putt. Good morning, Mr. Baldini. I'm getting ready to race in the Car Town. Oh, that is so exciting. You let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. Thanks, Mr. Baldini. I will. It says Baldini's Grocery Store. Hey, you putt putt. I'm getting a little low on produce. How'd you like to do me a favor and go out on the farm and pick me up some more, huh? Sure! What do you need, Mr. Baldini? 
Well, uh, let me see. Uh, I need a one a apple, a one a carrot, and a one a head of cauliflower. Okay, I can get that. Excellent. You bring them back to me in this box, and I'll give you two a coins, but but. Gee, thanks. I could use some coins, Mr. Baldini. Great. Uh, well, a good luck. what Redline Rick said I needed for the big race. Great! Wow, this is extra high powered. Hey, I should clean my windshield. That last bug really made a mess. Ah, squeaky clean. That's much better. This bottle doesn't belong on the ground. It should be recycled. Regular gas. Okie dokie, fill her up. Extra high powered, high octane gasoline. Fill her up. Whoa, I'm humming like a race car. Car town wash. That extra high powered, high octane gasoline doesn't last very long. I should take some of it with me to the race so I can use it there. It says Car Town Car Wash, two cents. Put two coins in the slot, please. I don't have two coins. I'm sorry. You need to put two coins into the slot before you can enter the Car Town Wash. Chuck, and it looks like he's in trouble. Putt Putt, how's my little buddy? I'm fine, Chuck, but what happened to you? Oh, one of my rubber radials hit a nail, popped it like a balloon. <laughs> I'm one stuck, Chuck. Maybe I can help. If you would, I'd be a happy tow truck. How's about heading over to my tire setter and picking me up a tire patch kit? And judging by my tire, you'll need to cut it into a square. Oh, I can do that, Chuck. Thanks, little buddy. I'd be much obliged. No see, matey. How do you like my newest addition? It's a baby lemur. Oh, it's really cute. Stayed home today to take care of the little bugger. Only problem is, he's hungrier than a mm. crocodile in a grub nest, and I can't for the life of me remember what he eats. Wouldn't help either, because I can't leave him alone to go buy anything anyway. Maybe I could find out what he eats and then pick it up for you, Outback Al. Jackaroo, you're on. It's a baby lemur. 
Is that a racing flag? It sure is, Putt-Putt. Why? Did you need it for something? I sure do. For the Car Town 500. Go ahead and take it. I don't need it. Okay, thanks. But first, I'll bring you some food for your baby mm. lemur. He looks hungry. Bender? Well, say there, Pit Pit. I mean, Putt Putt. Haven't seen you in ages. I stopped by to say hi. And I was also wondering if you wanted me to recycle your empty bottle. Well, I've been meaning to recycle it myself. Haven't gotten around to it, so by all means, take it. Thanks. I will. <coughs> Bonzo's a little gonzo, if you ask me. I tell him to sit, he stands. I tell him to stay, he leaves. Maybe he thinks it's opposite day. Huh, never thought of that before. safety scissors. I can use them to cut out shapes, but I don't have anything I want to cut now. Those look like racing flag numbers. Hey, numbers! Redline Rick said I need my official number on my racing flag. Looks like I need to find a flag first, though. I shouldn't bother him. He's reading. Hey, odd animals of the alphabet. I'd like to take a look at that. A is for aardvark. Aardvarks have long tongues like worms, eating stuff that makes us squirm. Termites and ants, they love to crunch, though sometimes they eat green grapes for lunch. B is for bush baby. In Africa lives the bush baby, though a baby he is not. At night he swings from tree to tree, and in daytime he sleeps a lot. C is for Capybara. This fellow's huge, I tell you, and he's related to a rat. And he looks just like a guinea pig, only bigger than all that. D is for Dugong. Dugongs live beneath the sea, but pop up to breathe the air. They mostly chomp on grasses, growing under sea down there. E is for Emu. The Emu is a really big bird who stands about five feet high. It has wings and feathers like a bird, but the emu, it can't fly. F is for fat dormouse. The fat dormouse is always hungry, eating everything it sees. But his favorite food of all, I'm told, is dried up pumpkin seeds. G is for greater bilby. The greater bilby is funny to see, cause on its nose is growing hair. But the bilby isn't spotted much, because it's very rare. H is for Hyrax. The Hyrax, it's just two feet tall and related to the elephant. It's so very strange to think that's true, but it's the information I've been sent. I is for Ibex. An Ibex is a wild goat with curly horns that grow so tall. It jumps and climbs up rocky cliffs, but hardly ever slips or falls. J is for Jerboa. The Jerboa is so tiny, and it jumps about three feet high. And when it makes these mighty leaps, it feels like it can fly. K is for Kinkajou. In South America lives the Kinkajou. I've never seen one up close, have you? They love to lap up honey the best, sticking their tongues into buzzing bees' nests. L is for lemur. Lemurs are primates with black ring tails. They climb up trees, then leap and sail. The grown-ups feed on plants and leaves, but milk is what the babies need. Oh, the babies drink milk. I should go find some so Outback Al can feed his baby lemur. M 
famous for Mudskipper. The Mudskipper, you must understand, lives in water as well as on land. Like other fish, he's born with gills, but he also breathes through his mouth at will. N is for Numbat. The Numbat lives to gobble termites. He looks for them both day and night. He eats more than 20,000 a day, but I wonder how many get away. O is for Okapi. The Okapi is related to the giraffe. She lives in Africa, and this may make you laugh. Her tongue is the longest I've ever seen, and she can even lick her eyelids clean. P is for pool cat. Like a cross between a skunk and weasel is this critter called a pool cat. When it gets mad, it lifts its tail and lets out a stink in seconds flat. Q is for quokka. The quokka is a fuzzy kind of wallaby, related to the kangaroo, you see. Quokka spring and hop and crouch and hold their babies in their pouch. R is for rattel. The rattel looks almost like a skunk. But this guy, he has a lot more spunk. He eats buffalo and poison snakes and never gets a belly ache. S is for sugar glider. The sugar glider looks like a flying squirrel. From tree to tree, it glides and twirls. It loves to eat anything that's sweet. Flowers and sap make a tasty treat. T is for tarsier. Here's a little mammal called a tarsier. He hunts at night and sleeps all day. His eyes are big as big can be. He has sticky feet to climb up trees. U is for walkeree. In the Amazon lives this monkey, and walkeree is his name. He's got a bright red face, you see, and it's his claim to fame. B is for Viscacha. Viscachas live underground in burrows, sharing them with snakes and squirrels. They heap piles of junk upon their homes, from lost toys to trash to stones and bones. W is for Wombat. The Wombat has great spiky hair, and he's roly-poly as a bear. If he's chased, he runs to hide, finds a hole, and sticks his head inside. for Xyphosura. Xyphosura is quite a proper name, but he's a horseshoe crab all the same. He has lived in mudflats along the coast for 300 million years, and that's no boast. Y is for Yak. In Asia lives the great wild Yak, who has a hairy head and a hairy back. The parents graze on grass and leaves, and babies drink the milk they need. Z is for Zorilla. A Zorilla is related to the skunk, I think. And when he's scared, he shoots out a stink. Don't mess with him or he'll get mad. And you'll be smelling something really bad. But hello. Hi, Mrs. Airbag. How are you doing today? I'm afraid not very well. Ralphie buried Mr. Airbag's new hubcaps in the backyard. Mr. Airbag's not going to be too pleased about that, I can assure you. Maybe I can help you dig them up, Mrs. Airbag. Oh, Putt Putt, that would be wonderful. Great. Now all I have to do is find a shovel, and I'll be back. Thank you so much, Putt Putt. before I can dig up Mrs. Airbag's backyard. Someone was littering. I think I'll pick up this empty bottle and recycle it. It's a pig. 
picture of a horn. Hmm. need to be recycled. Uh-oh! Didn't you hear my horn? Not again! Didn't you hear my horn? Oh no! I honk, it's my turn! was that I ran over? Well, who knows, because I can't see a thing. Wow, it's a flashlight. Hey, Pot, but you want that old thing? It's not really working. Do you know what's wrong with it, Torbal? Oh, yeah. No batteries. Go ahead and take it. Gee, thanks. Oh, don't you go mentioning it now. I got from Torval can use these batteries. Perfect! If I were a bunny hopping all around, I'd go into my field and pull a carrot from the ground. They're orange and they're crunchy and they're also good for you. A carrot is so tasty, even cooked into a stew. So, Putt Putt, what brings you out this way? Mr. Baldini wanted me to pick up some things at your farm. Oh yeah, he told me all about that. You go right ahead. Thanks. Mr. Baldini asked for. A head of lettuce. I don't think Mr. Baldini wanted any of that. I'll have to get closer if I want to pick that. Look, broccoli. Mr. Baldini didn't need any of those. Baldini didn't need any of that. That's broccoli. I don't think Mr. Baldini wanted one of these. How do I get there? Mr. Baldini wanted any of these. I still need to find an apple, a carrot, and a head of cauliflower. I still need to find an apple, a carrot, and a head of cauliflower. Thank you. 
reach that from here. Driving around in Torval's field sure is fun. There isn't anything I can pick there. Apples! I need some of those for Mr. Baldini. I better pick some. one for Mr. Baldini. I better pick it. Check it out, cauliflower. That's what Mr. Baldini asked for. I better pick one. Great, I found everything for Mr. Baldini. He'll be so excited. I can pick anything there. It says farm. It's a hook. That's a dangerous thing to have in the road. I better pick it up. Got a joke. Yeah, what else is new? Okay, so try me. Here's one. Oh, oh this is good, you're gonna like it. <clears throat> 
what do you get when you cross a porcupine with a balloon? The... what? What? Pop. Uh, ah. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> right, 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 I get it, I get it. Yeah, all right. It says nailers wanted. Uh-oh, those pipes are blocking the road. They're too heavy for me to move. Hi, Betsy Bulldozer. Hey there, Putt Putt, what's up? I was wondering if I could borrow your shovel. I need to help Mrs. Airbag and it would sure come in handy. Ah, oh, you know I'd like to, but I got a heap of work ahead of me today. Only time I ever take a break is to suck down a big old fat milkshake. Of course, I forgot it today, so I'll be missing my break. I have a great idea, Betsy. If I bring you a milkshake, then you could take a milkshake break, and maybe then I could borrow your shovel. But I'm liking it. You're on. And make sure it's a really big one. Okay. some of those nails back there? Not at all, but but In fact, I could use some help. Got a load of these cheap nails. They keep popping out left and right all over the place. If you could smack them back in for me, you'd be doing me a huge favor. Okay, Betsy, I'll give it a try. Wow, look at all the nails. I better get to work. Here I go. to work. Ready? Go! In. Here I go. get to work. Ready? in. Here I go. I 
we'd better get to work. Ready? Go! I'd better get to work. Ready? Go! In. Here I go. I've got to pound all these nails in. Here I go. to work. Ready? Go! Here comes some more nails. Ready? Go! Should we stop playing now? Guess what, Betsy Bulldozer? I nailed in every last one of them. Now why am I not surprised? Good work, Put Put. Say, I don't have much to give you, but I'd like to give you a kind of thank you gift. How about this genuine Junior Cartown Construction Crew safety helmet? Don't think it'll fit you, but it'll look great on your dog. Thanks a lot! Pep needs one of those for the big race. Hi, Putt-Putt. Where are you going? I was hoping to head over the hill, Pete, but it looks like the road's blocked. It sure is. I lost my hook somewhere this morning. I heard it drop off with a clank, but I don't remember where. Without my hook, I can't move even one of these pipes. I don't know what to do. Well, guess what, Pete? I think I found your hook back in the tunnel near the farm. Oh, but but I hope that's really my hook. I can't wait to see it. Here's the hook, Pete. Is it yours? Is it ever? But but you are a great pal. Why don't you hook it back on me and I'll get these pipes moved. Thanks, but but. Okay, stand back. I've got work to do. All clear. Thanks again, but but. It sure feels great to be able to work again. You're welcome, Pete. It says ice cream. Hi, Mr. Crankcase. Hey, 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 Putt Putt. Excuse me, Mr. Crankcase. This sure is an awfully big mess. Whew. You're telling me. Accidentally bumped into those shelves this morning and nearly twisted my lug nuts. I can hardly bend over to put all that stuff back on the shelf. Oh, don't worry. I can put it back for you. You do that and I'd be more tickled than a newly tuned turbo engine. Have to warn you, though. 
There's only one way everything fits. Stuff was packed in there pretty darn tight. Okay, Mr. Crankcase, I'll remember that. Mr. Crankcase, thanks for letting me help. No, thank you. You're the one who needs to be thanked. You're very welcome, Mr. Crankcase. bottles in there. I'll need to put in two more bottles before I can recycle them. I'll need to put in one more bottle before I can recycle them. Of valuable junk. It's always a pleasure to tidy up your treasures, Mr. Crankcase. Wow, a bottle! I should recycle this. Super Speedy Radial Racing Tires. Those are the kind Redline Rick told me I need to enter the Car Town 500. Great! It's a tire patch kit. Chuck said I could take one so I can help him patch his tire. Now, all I have to do is go find some scissors so I can cut it out. The sign says closed. I need to help Chuck fix his tire so he can get back to work here at the tire center. Hi, Rover. Hey, Putt-Putt. Do you mind if I take this bottle for recycling? Of course not. It's all yours. Thanks. to drink these days, Rover. Only the best, Putt-Putt. We've got giant jumbo milkshakes and delicious icy cold milk. I'll have a giant jumbo milkshake, please, Rover. Best and biggest in cart town, Putt-Putt. Coming right up. Here you go. Thanks. What do I owe you? Are you kidding? I owe you. I mean, you're the guy who brought me back from the moon. It's free to you, Putt-Putt. Always. Gee, Rover, that's really nice. Betsy will like this. I'll have a 
have a carton of milk, please, Rover. Freshest you'll find anywhere, Putt Putt, coming right up. Here you go. That's really cool. Thanks, Rover. I think I'll save it for later. I already have some milk. I don't need any more right now. Here you go, Betsy. One giant jumbo milkshake. Thanks a bunch, Putt Putt. There's nothing like taking a break and drinking a giant jumbo milkshake. Say, I was wondering, Betsy, since you're on your break, would you mind if I borrowed your shovel? I need it to help out Mrs. Airbag. You go right ahead, Putt Putt. I won't be able to do any work during my milkshake break. Just make sure you return it as soon as you're done so I can get back to work. Okay, Betsy Bulldozer, I will. Thanks. Nothing in there. That hole's empty. Oh well. Nothing there. Anything here? Hello, Putt Putt. Did you find a shovel? I sure did. Now I can go dig up Mr. Airbag's four hubcaps. Wonderful. All you have to do is head around to the backyard. Ralphie will show you the way. Mrs. Airbag will be happy about that. 
that. Well, Mrs. Airbag, I found one of the hubcaps. That's a good start, Putt-Putt. I hope you can find the other three. I think I can, with Ralphie helping me. Nothing in there. I don't see anything here. Way there, Putt Putt. Just two more to go. Yep, I just have to go back and keep on digging. Nope, nothing in there. <laughs> Hope you find it soon. I will.
Nothing there. Nope, nothing in there. here. been busy. Thank you so much, Putt-Putt. Mr. Airbag will be so happy. You can keep the gas can, Putt-Putt. You earned it. Gee, thanks. Now I guess I better return the shovel to Betsy. Don't you worry about that, Putt-Putt. I'll do it for you. Thanks, Mrs. Airbag. Putt-Putt, I can't thank you enough for finding all of Mr. Airbag's hubcaps. You saved the day. I was happy to do it, Mrs. Airbag. I've already found all four of the hubcaps. Hello again, Outback Al. Matey, you're back. Any luck finding out what this little fella needs to eat? I sure did. I found out that baby lemurs like to drink milk. Oh, Bobba, I don't have a bit of that around here anywhere. That's okay. I picked some up for you. As I live and breathe, matey, you're the best. I can't wait to have a look-see. Here it is. Some food for the baby. Well, aren't you a lifesaver? Can't thank you enough. <laughs> Oh, and did you need that old racing flag for something? I sure do, for the Car Town 500. 
It's all yours, Putt-Putt. Thanks, Outback Al. That's really nice of you. Oh, don't mention it. You help me out, I'll help you out. That's what friends are for. Well, this is great. Now I just need to put my official racing number on it. Except for a few fence in my dender. I mean dents in my fender. I couldn't be better. Thank you, Putt-Putt. And just like I promised, here's a two of coins. Thanks. You're welcome. And if you want to fill up another produce box, you just let me know. So, Putt-Putt, are you going to race in the Car Town 500? I sure hope so, Smokey. There's just a few things I have to get first. Well then, I'm sure you'll have no trouble. Whoa, it's another empty bottle. I think I'll recycle it. That's one three. Now just two more and you're through the door. That's two boogaroo, thank you kindly. Yeehaw, that's all three. Get ready to drive on through. Wowie, zowie! Pick your color, cowboy. Close your eyes real tight, partner. Here you go, sharpshooter. Take a look. Partner. Looks great. 
great! <laughs> that was a blast! Scissors might come in handy to cut the tire patch kit for Chuck. Hey, those safety scissors might come in handy to cut the tire patch kit for Chuck. I need to cut this tire patch kit for Chuck. Now which shape did Chuck need his tire patch kit cut into? Not right. I should try to cut along the line. Mm, that's not right. That's not the right shape. I think I'll get a new sheet and try again. That's a triangle. I need a new sheet. That shape is a square. Chuck fix his flat tire. Hey, neat! I bet these numbers would work great on my triangular racing flag. Look at all the numbers! Redline Rick told me I need to have my official number on my racing flag. Let's see, I think he said, I need a six. That number is six. That's the number I need for my flag. Here you go, Chuck. Here's your tire patch kit cut into a square. Why, Putt-Putt, are you ever something? Why don't you slap that thing on me so I can be on my way? Okay, here goes. Good as new. Thanks to you. Well, I better get rolling. Drop by the tire center anytime, Putt-Putt. I'd be more than happy to give you a deal on a new set of tires. Wow, I could use a set of super speedy radial racing tires for the big race. Well then, come on down, little buddy. I'll make you a deal of a lifetime. See ya. Hey, it's 
It's a bottle. Do you mind if I recycle this, Chuck? Of course not, little buddy. Take it. It's yours. Thanks. Hi, Chuck. Hey, little buddy. Have yourself a look around. I'm here if you have any questions. Thanks. Chuck, I was wondering if I could buy a set of those super speedy radial racing tires. Redline Rick says these are the kind I need to enter the Car Town 500. Best tire on the market. And am I ever going to make you a deal since you helped me out today? Gee, thanks, Chuck. How much are they? Normally, they're two coins apiece. But for you, I'll give you all four tires for only four coins. That's a savings of four whole coins. But I spent all my coins. I guess I'll have to earn some more. I'll need to put in two. doesn't That. Hand them over, little buddy, and you got yourself a brand new set of tires! Here you go, Chuck! Four coins! Thank you kindly, Putt-Putt. Now I'm going to have to measure you with these calipers to make sure those tires will fit you. <laughs> Don't worry, it ain't gonna hurt. Well, well, a perfect fit. Putt Putt, you just bought yourself some primo top of the line super speedy radio racing tires. Would you like me to put them on you now or would you like to wait until race time? I don't want to race around Car Town too fast, so I'll just put them on at the track. <laughs> Enough for the race. Hey, 
Hey, this is great! I did everything I needed to do to enter the Car Town 500. Hot diggity! I'm ready to race! Hi, Redline Rick. I got all the things I need for the race. That's great, Putt Putt. Just in time. You go on over to the garage then and boys get y'all fixed up real race car like. I'll meet you out on the racetrack. <laughs> ready to race is something that's really ready to race. I sure am. Well then, go ahead on up to the starting line. We're just about to start. Contestants, start your engines. On your marks, get set, go! In third, but you sure were cruising. Good job out there, Putt Putt. Thanks, Redline Rick. So, what do you say? You want to go again? I sure do, Redline Rick. Racing in the Car Town 500 is the best fun ever. We're well, giddy up, partner. Let's go race. Contestants, start your engines. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs>
Richard? Well, you didn't come in first, but you sure were cruising. Good job out there, Putt-Putt. Thanks, Redline Rick. So how about it? You want to race again? I think I've raced enough for today. Well then, let's go to the winner circle. <laughs> Coming in second place, here he is, folks. Putt-Putt. Way to go, buddy. Thanks a lot! I'd like to thank everyone in Cartown for helping me get all the things I needed. And Mrs. Airbag, I hope Ralphie doesn't hide any more hubcaps. I'll see you all next time. And don't forget, it's not if you win or lose, it's how you race around the track! <laughs>